threw my dolls into a corner, and now it's ready to film. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an American Girl dollhouse tour, so let's just get started with the first one. First things first, this house was custom built, and I don't know exactly the dimensions, but it goes to my ceiling, and each room is 18 inches tall, which means if the doll has like a really high bun, <laughs> they can't really fit in. And then there are six main rooms, and then a big attic, and then an extra little room because that table didn't fit in the house. Let's just get started. So this is the dining room. It's the only part of the house that's not actually a part of the house. I really just need like two more rooms because I need an I have stuff for another bedroom and then I have the table but this one's just like it's just in my room so there's not really anything on the walls and sometimes when I feel like a room is like really clean I'll just like pick this up and put it somewhere else. Table and chairs I got for Christmas. I don't really know where they're from but they're cute. They're just plain. And on it I just have a bunch of stuff. I'm a lot of this is homemade or like just from an antique store or from AG. That's the little dining room I get. This is the living room. So the floor in here is just like this fake tile stuff and it's just actually laid down so I could take it off and not have a floor in here. And the back wall is scrapbook paper. There's a light in here but it doesn't work anymore. On this wall we have a little window and we have a sign I made a super long time ago that says rest and relax with friends and family love one another and I just keep it on here because I took a really long time to make that even though my handwriting is really bad on it. This couch is kind of pretty new. It's homemade from I think my Barbie stuff from tutorial. There's a blanket in the back that I found in my grandma's basement. It was originally for Barbies I think. Um, this is a placemat and then this, this table is actually like from one of my sister toys, I just flipped it over, and on it I have like stuff from American Girl Craft Sets. This I actually got from school for one in Kahoot, and this is homemade. This little chair I found at a thrift store, and then my grandma made this pillow. It's not stretchable. This table I got from Hobby Lobby for a while ago, and I really love it, and I just keep some like random things in it. This drawer doesn't work in the middle. This is just like, I don't really know what this actually used to be, but that's their TV, and then on it they just have a bunch of random little accessories that I've collected over the years. My doll's favorite show, and they reference it in some of my videos, is Our Promise, which that's all just cut out from the American Girl catalog, and yeah. This is the kitchen. I like the kitchen a lot. Fun fact about this room is that it doesn't have flooring and there's nothing on the walls, like in the back. So if I wanted to, I could take everything out of it and it would just be a big blank white room. Which is helpful in case I ever need to film something in a big blank white room. So, so over here we have a window which my sister colored on a long time ago. Uh, so my dolls are just hanging out right there. On um, this little hook thing, we just have like aprons and stuff, and then I have their little dog, which I got from Happy Meals a long time ago, and the dog's bed, the dog's food, yeah. Um, over here we have the our old Our Generation fridge, it's the gray one, and we got this, I got this at Goodwill, so it has all the stickers on it, and then inside I keep like all my food and stuff, I'm not gonna open the fridge. Back there, ooh. Back here we just have all of their, like, just like random lunchboxes and just random, like, this is a pen and highlighter, ketchup and mustard thing. And this is a placemat and I actually cut off one side a long time ago. Um, up there I have a Aspen Heights poster and then this is the kitchen that's home. And then I have this trash can that actually has trash in it. This is the bathroom. I like this room a lot. It's really cute, very pink. In the back they just have, like, a scrapbook wall and then this is the floor it's kind of like a marble e floor here i have this toilet and sink combo which i got from goodwill the toilet's actually broken so it's always kind of stuck with pee in it i hang their necklaces on the side of the toilet and then here i have their hair thing which is overflowing and then i have the sink area which has like mouthwash and a juice paste and then i have their mirror you guys you can see me hi on my phone um, this, this is not pajama, um, pants that I cut. And then this bathtub is my life bathtub, and I just keep the things that came with it inside of the bathtub, which it's not a great idea, but it's what I do. 
And this is super old. This was actually a jewelry box from Justice. So inside, I don't really keep anything. I should keep my hair stuff in here, shouldn't I? That'd be smart. And then this top opens too, but on the top I just have a bunch of random things like this is real nail polish and like a real makeup brush, Vaseline, hairspray. Here's all the little rubber bands that I have. Yeah, that's the bathroom. This room has quite a few dolls in it. It has Grace, Ma Margot, and Adelaide. So, yeah. Here is this wall and just has some scrapbook paper and then they have nice hardwood flooring in here. On the back, I just have a bunch of random things. Like, I got these posters from a magazine so long ago. And just, that says Grace in this calendar, which actually is right in the right months. I think it's been like that for a year, though, so. This bed is from Kamer, and it's not put together super well, but oh well. And on top, this is where Grace sleeps and whatever doll gets here first. And I have just like their MacBook here, um, which is like their MacBook mirror thing, you know. This one still has the like stuff on it, like the clear plastic thing. But this one actually didn't get any of the ordinary keys. I had two of these, so. And my smartphone eraser, which I love. And then these are just like from Happy Meals, which I got when I got <laughs> when I graduated preschool. This rug, I think, is really cute. It's actually still washed. And then we have a couple bags. And then they have a trundle, which is actually just the mattress from the bed, with a blanket my grandma made and a pillow. And then I have like my old generation laptop and these two ducks. This one's really scary. Pencil case, which actually goes on top of the bed, because this <laughs> actually doesn't have a mattress. It's just blankets. In here we have Jerry and Samantha and Amelia. This wall used to be, well this room I decorated for a doll that I don't have anymore because she was a Springfield doll and she was like super girly and stuff. So this room is very girly. <laughs> like this wallpaper would see. They have stuff in the back too. My grandma made these boards, like cork boards a long, long time ago. So I have like posters and all this stuff. We have some Paris themed things in here, which should probably be in Grace's room, but <laughs> Amelia really likes Paris. And then we also have these really cool flower stickers, which I don't know where they're from, but I feel like they just had a kind of a lifelike type. This bed, my mom found out at a thrift store one day, and it is really cute. It's pretty short, but I really, it's really nice. Like, it's real wood. Ah. It's real wood and real metal. So, um, it doesn't, didn't have a mattress, so, but it has, like, like a real, so I just have cool blankets on it and like this pink poop duck and like all this weird stuff. I'm not gonna take the trundle out because it is actually just a sleeping bag with a baby blanket on it. I like this rug, it's actually kind of broken but it's a bunch of pom poms on it. Um, over here we have like a couple bags and then we have this little box that has random stuff in it and the box is kind of broken. And we have this gumball machine which has actual gumballs in it which is probably not good <laughs> but no well. Back there, I just have this box that I covered in stickers a long time ago, and I have all these tiny little Lola Loopsies, because I used to collect them in a, they're doll sized, so, and this really tiny little monster truck. And then, like I said, this little piercing from Party City, and this light from CVS, and then this is just an American Girl box. So that is that room. And here we have Allie, Josie, and Eden's room. Back there, they don't have very many posters in there, and I made this a long time ago, it says A and J for Allie and Josie. This bed is, I got a super duper long time ago. It is from our generation, and like I said, I got it a really long time ago. On it, I just have like the actual pillows and Josie glasses case, and a nice, and the Mac, another one of those MacBook mirror things. I have another rug from those pajama pants, and underneath it, they have, none of them are real, real trundles, but this one is on like a, a lid, and it has a bunch of blankets and just we don't talk about that. Let's just cover that up. Okay. They have some mini dolls, Josie's guitar, and a build a bear backpack. Also a little mirror. And then this is their wall, which I think is really pretty. This is the attic, so we have the boys over here. Easton, Everett, and Lane. And then we have the other girls over here, so Zoe, Cameron, and Angelica. This is the boy side. I really love how the boy side looks. On their wall they have this Hamilton poster, which I actually have one in my locker too, but it this one is printed the wrong way, printed landscape, and I wanted it like vertical, so I put this one in the dollhouse. Well, Angelica likes Hamilton, so. Um, this is just a doll box with some blue things on it. This pillow I made in facts, my first year of facts. It is literally the worst thing. Oh my gosh, there's a hole in it. I got an A on it though, so. They just have a bunch of random things on here, and like these ducks, and yeah. Flowers for that Lane is going to give to Jerry. 
And they have this dresser, which I got from an antique store, and it actually sticks off. It actually sticks off the edge here. I'm not talk about any other stuff, on it. Can you see? I never come up here. Um, but they have so much right here, like hand sanitizer and that, and a Barbie globe, and just oh my gosh. But it, I feel like I love the cluttered look at it. In between the two beds, we have like I don't know, just we have this little box that I painted for my mom a really long time ago. So it has like just random stuff. And this has like a clipboard and cute stuff. Good stop motion stuff. We have Santa, Santa hats too. Then this bed, it's a bunk bed trundle, which was super helpful because before then I had these paper bunk beds up here, which didn't really work. And I got this for Christmas, so yeah. Another one of those rugs that I have down here, up here. And then this little thing. <laughs> That's a chalkboard actually. That's what so here we have Cameron's bed, here we have Zoe's bed, and up here we have Angelica's bed. But I'm actually going to be switching Angelica's bed to the middle one because she can't actually lay up here probably. Actually, you know what? We should check. Does she fit? Yes. Would this be super uncomfortable? Yes. So she's going to get, I'm going to move her down to the one with more room, but I just haven't done any. So this trundle actually is like a real trundle and it can slide out, but you have to move the ladder. And yeah, actually I guess this is Zoe's bed, so she has a mattress on it, and like this blanket which I had for so long, and like some drawings she's been doing, and her crowns and stuff. I can't say crowns, I know it's like crayons or something, I just say crowns. Here is Cameron's bed, which this like bandana I got from Dan's when I was like five. Just like all this cute little stuff on it, that's from all Lucy, that little cat. And then Angelica, which isn't really themed, it's kind of like Hamilton themed I guess. I don't know, it just makes me seem like the 1700s, and she has a Felicity doll, so... But yeah, I definitely recommend this bed and the Ardeneration one too. Alright guys, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, make sure to leave a like in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. So anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to shine bright. I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys. She's staring at you. Ooh, ah, okay. Bye guys.